Hey, Shubi Doolers, how are you doing? Well, I had a message from Gabriella Saunders and she says she really feels like an artist, but she has this problem <laughs> when she faces a canvas and she just doesn't know what to do. And so she kind of copies things, but she wants to kind of, you know, sort of put her feelings in and all that kind of stuff and wonders what she can do. She says, is this normal that she kind of feels intimidated by a white canvas? Well, I've got some thoughts about that, but let's not talk about it. No, let's talk about it. <laughs> The very first thing I'm going to say is, why are you painting on a canvas? You know, it's an expensive thing, and so it, and it's it's very very precious kind of thing. And so you put it on an easel, and immediately you're going, this is a precious thing. I've got to do something amazing on this canvas. So think of the canvas as being, you know, right at the end of the process. You know, if you just stand in front of a blank canvas, you're going to go blank. <laughs> so what you really need to do is to start off in sketchbooks and little bits of paper and little trials of things and just keep trying stuff and getting ideas, go out, get ideas and fill your sketchbook full of ideas. And then suddenly you go, hey, now, yeah, I would really like to explore this as something bigger on the canvas. And you'll have done all the preliminary work that you can then go in to do your finished big picture. You can't expect to just start splashing stuff around on a canvas and expect you know, a masterpiece to appear. It doesn't happen like that. I know it does on the movies, but it doesn't happen in real life. And when you might see uh, a documentary about an artist who's flinging paint around or just splish, blosh, splash, it, they have been doing that for years and years and years and years. They've made mistakes. They've, they've gone down blind alleys. They've done all sorts of things. Uh, they've tried this, they've tried that. They've built up their craft techniques. They've built up their ideas. Uh, and they've built up a way of doing something. And w when somebody's doing something that seems really easy, it's because they've really worked hard at it. And that's what you have to do. And it's not just the painting of canvases. There comes a time when if, if canvas is what you want to work on, then, then you do have to put the time in getting to learn how canvas works and how paint works on that canvas and learning the craft skills of painting on a canvas. Uh, so you've got to do that. But as far as the ideas are concerned, they're not just going to come out on a, on a blank canvas. You, you, you've got to work out them in your sketchbooks and build up your ideas and build up the design or whatever it is that you're trying to do and, and work out what it is that you're after. And so to come to that point, we'll say, now I'm going to do the finished piece of work that is going to be the canvas because the canvas is something that is eventually going to have a frame around it. It's a, and and it, it, it's a kind of a, a, a big deal because the canvas means you're going to want to put it on the wall. Uh, <laughs> and so it's got to be something that you want to put on the wall and look at forever. And you don't think of canvas as being something that you just practice on. Um, so practice on other stuff, practice on cheap stuff and, and then save the canvas for when you're absolutely ripe, absolutely ready, and you know what you want to do. So start small, build and build and build and build, grow until you're ready to do that great big final piece of work. And I think you might find that will work for you, Gabriella. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And if you did, go and have a look at how to be a great artist or check out the mystery drawing. Either way, make sure you click the logo at the top to subscribe to the Shoe Rainer Drawing channel. And in the meantime, keep drawing, drawing, drawing. Practice, practice, practice. And I'll see you next time. You take care now.